The reason we like to uh, get everybody to move their bins back is so the grader can get through the laneway in a straight and timely, safely fashion. Uh, if the bins are out too far, the grader has to side shift back and forth or swerve around. We get inconsistent wind rows, so it makes it harder to lay the material back into the laneways. That not only goes for the bins, but we like garbage or tree branches, shrubs, anything in the laneway. We like people to remove them if they could, please. And if you have big trees, like in the background, that are overhanging in the laneway, that clips the mirrors of the graders and also the garbage trucks that come through. If you can prune those back, it'd be great. It really helps us out get done in a timely manner. You can see by um, the grader coming down the laneway, he's moving his tires left and right, but at the same time, he's also sliding his blade in and out. So he's having quite a bit of difficulty maneuvering around the bins that are not placed back correctly. So this is what we'd like folks to do is push the bins back as far as they possibly can or remove them into their yard. Also any other obstructions that may come in contact with them. Like it. Uh, you'll see he's approaching some trees on the right hand side and if they're not pruned back it will clip the mirrors on the graders and this also causes a little bit of trouble with antennas or the lights on top. You can see he's moving his tires quite a bit and he is also sliding his blade back and forth to help him out to maneuver around. You can see the branches on the right hand side, it's not too bad, but uh, again, we like to have folks trim them back if they could. You can see that there is some bins out from the fence line and that does cause uh, havoc for the operators. This is a good example when they come down they have to make that windrow to dig down to get the ruts out of the laneway and they with that garbage bin being there he can't make a big windrow on that side because when he comes back the other direction he's got to drag that back across the laneway again so you can see where the difficulty comes in. As you can see the vehicle on the right hand side this is what we're talking about other obstructions in laneways the grader is moving around the best he can but you'll see in a minute here he has to go to his articulation mode to move around it just a little bit so he doesn't catch it with his ripper or his blade so this is things that do slow down the lane grading process